Welcome or welcome back. This is the fourth installment in my secondary application mini series. Here are the topics that I covered in the previous three parts. So go check them out if you haven't already. There you can get a more holistic look into the secondary application. But today I will be covering the common themed essay questions and walk you guys through how to best approach them. I have identified eight common themed essay questions, so let's take a deep dive into each of them. In alphabetical order, starting from the top, we have the additional information. This is an opportunity for you to talk about something that you weren't able to mention elsewhere in your application. Sometimes this section will be optional, but if you think you have something to share that will help paint you in a positive light or give ad comms more insight to you as a person, by all means, do complete it. I talked about some of the goals of secondaries in part one of this video and I will put them up again here, but really focus on these goals when addressing the additional information section. Here are some examples of what this type of question can look like. Next, we have the well-known adversity essay. This is where you are going to talk about obstacles or challenges you've faced, how you have overcome them and have built resiliency. So the outline of this essay should look something like this. Briefly discuss the challenge, followed by your reaction or how you manage the situation, what you've learned from it, and how you will apply these learnings in future situations. What med schools want to gauge by asking you this question is to see how you deal with difficulty, how you overcome it, your ability to reflect and apply these experiences as learning opportunities for future situations. So the bulk of your response should be focused on these things as opposed to the challenge itself. Number three, the COVID question. This is something that I anticipate will still be included in this year's application cycle just because of the long-term impact of the pandemic. This is often going to be an optional section, but it is a really good place for you to explain and provide a reason if your application is lacking in any way as a result of the pandemic. Typically, they will ask about the COVID impact on you as related to your application, your academics, your work, volunteering, or personal life, but they may also ask about the COVID impact on medicine, so be prepared for that. Number four, this is the big diversity essay that everybody talks about, but basically it's what makes you unique and how will you use that to contribute to the incoming class and the school. And like I mentioned in part three of the mini series, this is a place where you want to try to think outside of the box or beyond the traditional narrative and way of thinking about things. I like to think of the diversity question as the ultimate, why should we choose you question? So diversity is not just limited to ethnicity, um, sexual orientation, or your socioeconomic status. Diversity can also take the form of being a parent, serving in the military, studying abroad, having lived or moved around a lot. If you are a career changer, or if you are a humanities major, these are all things that make you unique. But if you did want to talk about what we typically think of when we hear diversity, try to see it from a different angle. We can share similar backgrounds and experiences. So what makes yours unique? What did you encounter in that experience that created an impact on you? I would really encourage you to think about how your experiences and your takeaways from those experiences can serve as an asset for the incoming class as well as the patient population that you're going to work with. Overall, I want to highlight that it is what you focus on that matters, not the subject. Ultimately, how have your experiences shaped the way that you see the world or approach situations? Number five, the experience question. This is where they are going to ask you to recall an experience or multiple experiences and reflect on them. These questions can take various forms, so I'm just going to throw up some examples for you guys. Feel free to pause and read them. Next, we have the long-term plan question. Basically, where do you see yourself in the future? Where do you see yourself working? What do you want to do as a physician? What specialty are you planning on going into? What type of impact do you want to make as a physician? Pretty straightforward. The only thing that I'm going to comment on is to be realistic when you are answering this question and stick to a maximum of three things that you want to focus on. Anything beyond that, I feel like it's going to come off as you not really having a focus and not knowing what you want in your career. And it should also make sense given the theme of your application. With the long-term plan comes the short-term plan. For most people, this is going to be asking about their gap year. More specifically, it's what are you going to be doing from the time that you submit your application to the time that you matriculate. Here, you want to show that you are working on challenging yourself in new ways, whether academically or not, that you are continually exploring medicine, staying engaged in the community, 
they want to know that you are always trying to evolve as a person and that you are seeking out opportunities to help you do that. And finally, we have the why this school question. This is how they are going to gauge how good of a fit you are for them and they are for you. What you want to do here is to talk about the programs and the community engagements that are of interest to you and how you will contribute to their mission. Now, I know that a lot of the med school's mission statements sound very, very similar. So that is why doing a little bit of research into their focus, their community engagement, or part of their curriculums that are of interest to you is going to help you to tailor your response to that specific school. This is often the part that I recommend people start thinking about as they are compiling their school list and researching the schools that they want to apply to. So writing down some notes during the process is going to help you tremendously during this process, but if you did not, now is the time to do it. You want to show the schools that you have done the research and that you are intentional in choosing your school list. Eight out of the 20 schools that I applied to asked me the why the school question in my secondary application, but if they did not, there is a good chance that they are going to ask you about it during your interview, so you want to be prepared for that and have an answer ready. And that makes eight. I hope you found this breakdown of the common themed essay questions helpful and that it gave you some ideas on what to focus on when answering them. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, best wishes, warmest regards, until next time. Bye!